Um, my name is Taylor White. For those of you I haven't um, met or didn't see on Tuesday morning, um, I'm the National Director of PIA here, and I opened our summit on Tuesday with what I hope was a very clear message um, and one that we've certainly sought to reinforce in various ways in each of the sessions over the last three days. Um, but youth apprenticeship is a strategy for building a more inclusive economy by creating affordable, reliable, equitable pathways for high school to good jobs and college degrees. And at no time in recent memory um, has it been so important for us to make opportunities like youth apprenticeship available to young people to create more structured opportunities for the, them to gain the training, the college credits, the experience, and the networks they will need to enter today's workforce and advance in their careers as our economy comes back online in the months and years ahead. As both an economy and a society, we can't afford to let another generation of young people reach adulthood without the tools they need to achieve economic security and mobility. Um, as you heard yesterday during our employer panel and, and again this morning from Barbara Humpton in our opening session, youth apprenticeship can be good for business too. It creates flexible pipelines of new diverse talent and can be a catalyst for strengthening collaboration across a given industry or even a given region. In a time of recovery, youth apprenticeship can also be beneficial in that it can distribute the cost and risk and responsibility for developing talent across the public and private sector, which can be a creative way to support not only recovery, but also mobility in a moment when it's both are really needed. Of course, the most compelling testament um, of the power of youth apprenticeship are the youth apprentices themselves. And so I hope that hearing from some of them on Tuesday and throughout our video segments this week has reminded anyone who needed to hear it, this work matters not just for think tank people in black and white bedrooms in DC, um, but for countless young adults in this country who have big goals and big dreams, and they just need a little bit of help accessing them. To help them get there and to support employers who also are looking for new strategies to reach their full potential, Paya is both proud and excited to be launching the second phase of our work with you here this week. After this conference, once we've survived the day and over the next few weeks, we'll be sharing with you more information about exactly what that second phase means and how you and the partnerships and programs you represent can continue to engage with and peers around the country who are advancing the programs, policies and systems change efforts we need to expand and improve youth apprenticeship. Uh, but that said, I hope this week's given you a preview of what PIA is about, how we work to advance our vision for quality, equity, and accountability. And in case you weren't taking notes, a brief overview of our work, uh, both past and future, will appear in the chat for you in just a minute. I hope I'm not supposed to be dropping that in. Um, but if I am, it will be there shortly. Um, but none of this work, none of what you'll see in that doc um, would be possible without the support of our funders and partners, and certainly not without the work that you are all leading in your communities. So to our funder collaborative, to our national partners, and to all of you, we say thank you once again. We are so grateful for your work and for your support and for your ongoing engagement. Um, we also couldn't have pulled off this week without the support of our incredible communications and events teams at New America and the guidance and leadership and staff from our education policy program. Joyce, Wool, Mike, Brent, Elena, Mary Alice, anyone else I've missed racing through this closing. Um, you are all the best. Thanks for your help all week long. Um, so once again, thank you very much on behalf of Team PIA, the PIA funders, the PIA national partners, and the communities that we support through the network and grants. Um, we're so grateful for you to for making time to join us this week, and we really look forward to staying in touch and to continuing to learn alongside you as we advance youth apprenticeship in the U.S. Thank you.